Hi, it's Maya here with my wrap up of my 2019 reading goals and my new goals for 2020. My first reading goal was the Goodreads challenge. I set it to 70 books and I read 146 books in 2019, which is the largest amount of books I've read since joining Goodreads. I also added the goal for at least 40 of the books that I read to be novels because I read so few novels and so much short fiction and comics in 2018. So in 2019, I want to read more, more novels and other full length works. So I did succeed in this. I read 45 novels. So yay for me. And also in my mid year goals check in video, I also counted full as full length works, short story collections from a single author. So I read six single author collections. So that brings my total to 51. I also started my Reads and Receipts project where I was reading books from my physical TBR and I will do a separate wrap up of that. But I will just say that I started 2019 with 81 books and I ended 2019 with 68 books on my TBR. I did read 32 of my own physical books last year, but since most of those were books that I had bought last year, I only brought the number down. 13 books. I also wanted to finish the A to Z TBR project that I started in November 2017. And I guess I failed in this. I'm just missing seven letters. And a lot of them are difficult letters, except for one, which I have no excuse for. But in my last check in in the middle of the year, I had got seven more letters for that challenge. And since then, I've gained four more. And those were I from Intelligence, Artificial and Human from various Japanese authors. N from Night's Master by Tanith Lee, P from The Perilous God by Elizabeth Mary Pope, and V from The Victorian Chess Long by Margaret Alaski. So the letters that I have left that I haven't read a book starting with that letter are K, O, Q, S. For some weird reason, I haven't read a book from my physical TBR that started with S. And then there is U, X, and Z. I did sort of browse through, through this two book manga series called X Day by Setuna Mizushiro, I think it was, before I got rid of it before the renovation move and took it to this library exchange shelf. I sort of read, th read through it, so I'm thinking of counting that for X, but I'm not really counting comics for this project, so I don't know. But anyway, in the end, I'm missing seven letters from my A to Z TBR challenge. I also wanted to use my TBR char. Eh. I completed two challenges from that during the first half of the year. Those were read hardcover and read the shortest book on your TBR. During the latter half of the year, I only completed one more. And that was read a book with one word title. And that one was Illuminae by Jay Kaufman and Amy Christoph. No, the other way around. Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman. And I also pulled two other challenges, but I didn't complete them. Another little project I have is reading the poorer books in order. And I read three more of those during the year. And those were Murder in the Muse, Dumb Witness and Death on the Nile, all by Agatha Christie. I wanted to read about four or five, but three is fine. Uh, the penultimate goal in that video was to get my TBR down to 40 books or under. Yeah, I didn't really think that I was gonna do that. I'm at under 70 now. And the final goal in that video was to post at least 52 videos uh, that year. I've always had this goal and I've always gone over it, but last year I actually only posted 51 videos, so I am one behind. 2019 was a bit weird video posting year because I had a few months when I only posted two videos, but then I had a couple of months where I posted like six so that's unusual for me. But that was the wrap up of all my goals for 2019. I didn't really finish anything apart from the Goodreads challenge and reading the full length works, reading more novels. So let's move on to my new 2020 goals. I don't know if I'm going to continue with my A to Z TBR project. I think I'm going to try to get S in there and then I'm going to see about the other letters that I'm missing, but I'm not going to focus on that. But let's start with the goals that I will actually set myself. And the first is, of course, the Goodreads challenge. I set this at 66 books. I can do that. I just like to see the counter go up. If I didn't uh, have a Goodreads, I probably wouldn't set like a specific number of books that I want to read. But I just like to see Goodreads tracking it. I will also continue with my reads and receipts in 2019. And I will start the year with 68 books on my TBR. Like I said, I'll do a separate a Reads and Receipts video where I wrap up the 2019 reads and say what I'm going to change in 2020. One thing that I can say already is that I want to get my TBR under 50 by the end of the year. So that means reading 18 books of my current TBR plus reading all the books that I buy or acquire in 2020. Since last year, I did read those 32 books 
of my own books, I should be able to do this. Then my next goal is that I have chosen 10 books that I want to read in 2020. My year is a success if I have finished all of those. I've been putting them off. That will be a separate video where I show you all the books. It either is going to go up next or it is already up. And if it is, I will link it in a corner. I will, of course, also continue my challenge of reading the poorer books in order. That's no big challenge. But a new challenge that I set for myself is that I want to reread something. And I chose three things. At the end of the year, I want to have at least reread one of these things. So the first of my reread possibilities is The Dragonlance Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. These are the Finnish editions. I don't know if I'm gonna read the Finnish editions or get the English ones from the library if they have them. The first book is Dragons of Autumn Twilight. And then there's Winter Night and Spring Dawning. And I read these when I was 12 or something. They were one of the first fancy books I ever read. And I fell in love with fantasy with these. I don't know how well they're going to hold up, but I just feel like rereading some Dragonlance. The other things that I really want to reread are the Musketeer books by Alexandre Dumas, the, the Three Musketeers, and this is 20 years after. These are also Finnish editions. This one is huge. These are the two that I own. And then there's at least one more. I think I have read all of them before and I want to reread at least these two that I own. And then the final reread option is to reread the Sandman graphic novel series by Neil Gaiman and a bunch of artists. And this is the first volume of the Absolute Sandman. I have four of these and I've been wanting to reread this for a while. So I want to reread at least one of those series that I just showed you. So I only have one more goal left and that is to host that readathon. I've been thinking about hosting this readathon for two or three years now and I just haven't done it. Like the books that I enjoyed the most uh, in 2019 were older fantasy books written by women. So those were, if you watch my 2019 uh, top reads video, you know that my top spot went to Night's Master by Tanith Lee and the second most went to The Signet Duology by Patricia A. McKillip. This is from the 70s, this is from the 90s. I really enjoyed these older fantasy books. But anyway, I want to host a classic science fiction and fantasy books written by women readathon. I have no idea what I'm gonna call it and how long I want it to be. So here you can leave some comments for me telling me what is the length of a readathon that you prefer, like one week, one and a half, two weeks. And this is just something I really want to do. I would count anything written before the year 2000. I just really want to do this readathon. I own a bunch of stuff that I want to read. Some of them are on that 10 books that I want to read in 2020 list. Let me know if you are interested in a readathon like this. Science fiction and fancy before 2000s written by women. So that was my 2019 wrap up and 2020 goals. The goals again in short form are my Goodreads challenge of 66 books, reading the poor books in order, continuing reads and receipts and trying to get my TBR to under 50. Uh, the 10 books that I want to read in 2020, the one series that I want to reread in 2020 and also to host that readathon. So let me know about your readathon preferences and what are some of your goals, your, some of your reading goals for 2020 and I'll see you in my next video.